Hello, welcome to our channel Flight North Center. Today we're going to talk about general aerodrome lighting. Previously on this channel, we have exhaustively discussed about light signals and runway lightings. Just by any case you've not watched this, you can check later on the video list of the channel. All right, the general aerodrome lighting system are basically to aid in the safe operation of an aircraft since there is limited visibility at night. We can categorize uh, this lighting as taxiway lighting, runway holding point lights, apron lighting, visual navigation aids, obstruction lights and fly lights. We are going to start with the taxiway lighting and we can categorize this into two taxiway edge lights and taxiway center line lights. To start with taxiway edge lights these are aeronautical lights showing blue all around and they are to provide the aid of the runway and also a clear and continuous indication of any taxiing route. The taxiway centerline lights, they are green in color and that to indicate the exit taxiways, high speed exit taxiways, complex uh, taxiway intersection and taxiways leading into areas where edge lighting is not provided. Uh, runway holding points, uh, these are found uh, closer to the holding point of the runway. They can be on the edge and they can be indicated by double red lights on either side of the taxiway or as a row of red lights crossing the taxiway as indicated on our picture. Apron lighting, uh, these are basically lights to provide some lighting on the apron and they are supposed to be on during uh, night flying. There are also flight lights which should provide adequate illumination on all apron services areas with a minimum glare. This is just to protect the night vision uh, of the crew. That point to note is that the arrangement and aiming of flight lights should be such that an aircraft stand receives light from two or more directions to minimize shadows. So now we go to visual navigation aids which basically compose lights that enable pilot to correctly identify a specific location or position from a distance. They are usually flashing uh, lights which can be green or red just to indicate this is the location. For example, aerodrome identification beacon. Obstruction lights, as the name suggests, these are just uh, uh, tall buildings and uh, mast within the aerodrome which can uh, cause a danger to the pilots. They are basically red lights fixed on the top of the obstruction uh, materials such as the buildings and the mast. And lastly, we are going to discuss about the paintings usually on the obstructions which is uh, red and white. They are basically to make the obstruction more visible during the day and with an obstruction light on the top of to mark the obstruction at night. As you can see in our picture, we have a, a mast which has a, a, at, at the base we have a painting of a red and white just to mark the obstruction. And so this marks uh, the end of our discussion for today. Thanks for watching and uh, subscribe and hit the notification button. Thank you.